There we go. Hey guys, I am here with Darlene, the owner of this fabulous spa. Her secret garden, garden v, -Steam. v Steam and Spa. V Steam and Spa. Okay, the V stands for, you know, vaginal steaming. Vaginal steaming, <laughs> ladies. So it's really important that we be health conscious, we take care of ourselves both internally and exteriorly as well. So that's why I wanted to show you guys what's going on here at Darling Spa. Very beautiful, relaxing, the music is soothing. It's so pretty in here and it smells so wonderful. So we're gonna talk about some treatments that need to be done for yourself. You know, a lot of people haven't thought about this. I think it's kind of fairly new, the Yoni steaming, or maybe just to the general public. Just to the general public okay. it is. Yeah, okay. They've been doing it okay. uh, all over the world actually for centuries. Okay. Okay. Um, and it just, of course, in America was erased from our history. Hmm. Um, but it er, just like everything else, it's coming back. And so um, now we are steaming our vaginas. Okay, so tell me, you, just, you said something really interesting. that You said it was removed for at one time. And why do you think that it was kind of a because stigmatized or um, what? I, well, what, it has a lot to do with a lot of different things. So gynecology, it has to okay. do with midwifery. Um, you know, hmm. I don't know if you knew that midwifery was even illegal in the United States What's that for mean, a period of time. So, you know, a midwife, a nurse midwife that helps a woman deliver a baby. Okay. Um, so even anything that helped a woman outside of pharmaceutical, okay. it was... Uh, Okay. Basically taken away from us. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, they just wanted us to go to the doctor and to ah. um, take medications. There and we so, go. and of course, as African Americans in this country, a mm -hmm. lot of the things that we did, uh, just what we did, you know, uh, back in the day or in Africa or, you know, Egypt or wherever we came from, um, was wiped away from us. Mm. So that has a lot to do with it as well. Okay. But if you ask women from Africa, Nigerians, if you ask women from, um, the islands, Haitian women, Caribbean women, if you ask women from South America, Guatemala, mm. um, they will tell you that they've been taught about vaginal steaming. Wow. If you ask women from Asia, they've been taught about vaginal That's steaming and deep. even some places in Europe so it's mm. really just us mm. Mm. Yeah, that um, mm. we were denied um, okay the practice yes. okay great information you guys be sure and share this information share this video because we're gonna take a tour around the beautiful salon that Darlene has here I want to show you what a yoni steaming looks like so I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're going to continue to talk but I want you to see for yourself okay hold on okay turn around you guys there we go. Okay, you guys, let me come from the enter from here. And then when you enter, this is what you see. She's got her secret garden here. And then she has the two chairs, stool chairs, I guess. But look at how beautiful they are. Nice cushions there. And another one here. The beautiful rug she has. A nice, beautiful, quaint, comfortable room. And so explain to us, so when a woman comes in, how is, how is it... Um, how is the procedure, I don't want to call it a procedure, how is the steaming done, darling? So, so they come in. Um, the steaming services are, you come in and you fill out an intake form. And the intake form kind of gives me some information on your history. So your menstrual cycle history, your history as a woman, just as far as your womb history. Have you had a hysterectomy? Have you went through menopause? Do you have a normal 28-day cycle? Do you have a short cycle? Do you deal with fibroids or cysts? Do you deal mm. with infections? Mm -hmm. um, do you have, you know, infections, HPV? Um, um, herpes, different things like that. So mm -hmm. there's a, a questionnaire that I take into account before I choose your herbal blend. So it's, it's a four pages front and back. So it's very detailed just so I know that I could choose the right herbs for you that are going to help you and help your situation and your ailment and not harm you. Yeah. And the question was really, sh I mean, it's extensive, but it's like yes or no. Yeah. So yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty easy. quick, mm -hmm. really easy. Um, and so, so did you hear guys what she said? She, you have to explain to her kind of what's going on with you because Many women have different issues. If you're having dryness or, like myself, I'm postmenopausal, or um, what would be some other issues that you think a lot of a lot of women have with their um, with their yoni? With so their... I get uh, I say about eighty five percent of women have um, and have dealt with maybe not now but have dealt with in their lifetime reoccurrent uh, vaginal infection. So whether it's mm. a yeast infection mm -hmm. or bacterial mm -hmm. vaginis mm -hmm. vaginosis, mm -hmm. um, we've dealt with that. Yeah. And so I would say about eighty eighty five percent of the women that come through my door have okay. dealt with that at some point in 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 time. Okay. Yeah. You guys, that is so key. Are you guys hearing that? That this goes back. This is, I was thinking it was something new, but we heard the history about it. this. This is nothing new. 
this is something that has been removed from a culture, but other cultures have continued it, and now right. it looks like it's back again because people are becoming more aware and want to be more mm -hmm. wholesome and more healthy. Yeah. And we we got to take care of the inside. So yoni steaming, really consider that for yourself and find out some more information. As you see, Darlene has a lot of information. So call her up, you know, or just come by the spy and see it for yourself and learn about this. There's re there's resolutions for most things that are going on in your life, and I just want to offer resources to you, and this is a great one, but I wanted you guys to see it for yourself. So be sure to share this out. We're going to turn around one more time, okay, so you can see. It's a, I guess that's a yoni steaming chair, yes. right? Okay, so. And there's different so, types. I mean, if you were to Google yoni steam, you'll probably see the box. There's like a box um, version uh -huh. or a stool version. Uh -huh. So um, this is just like the deluxe queen steam oh. chair that we came up with. This is a design that we came up with. Oh, you designed this yourself? interior, yeah, designer. Oh, um, cool. and, and got our chairs made. And so um, there's different types of chairs. You know, there's really just basic it's just a box that you sit over uh, oh, but then you know okay. we wanted to create a, a atmosphere here so that's why we have our special seats okay yes you guys were chatting here and we're at her secret garden v steam and spa v steam and spa so again we're talking about the yoni in particular but you have other services as well darlene mm -hmm. you have yeah, so I'm a licensed esthetician. I've been an esthetician for 16 years, um, and so I offer vaginal steaming, um, vajacials, which is a facial for your vagina. <laughs> Not the whole vagina, but just the top. Wait, it's for what? women who experience ingrown hairs. Um, so if you wax or you um, sugar, okay. and also I do sugaring as well, okay. then sometimes we get ingrown hairs. Uh, those of us, especially who have curlier hair, where the, cur oh, really? where the hair curls back into the skin, yeah. and then there's a lot of discoloration or hyperpigmentation associated with that, and so a vajacial will help you with getting rid of the ingrowns and the hyperpigmentation um, and then so I also do sugaring sugaring hair removal which is all natural hair removal um, unlike waxing okay um, there's no um, side effects it's great ah. for sensitive skin Ooh. it's sugar lemon water it's really simple it's really easy it's an old Persian um, remedy mm. and that's kind of what they do in Persia and in India to remove um, hair oh, and man. then also facials of course I'm a skincare okay. specialist and professional so I also offer facials um, and, uh, yeah, so that's what I do. Sugaring. I don't know. I've heard of that as well. Sugaring. Because, uh -huh. And you're saying because there's... Uh Less irritation because I hear that's what happens yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so it's with, less with irritation um, than waxing. It okay. actually adheres to the follicle, whereas waxing is just breaking off the skin at uh. the top, or the, I'm sorry, the hair at the top layer. Yeah. So the sugar actually seeps into the follicle and pulls that out, and then over okay. time it damages the follicle, so the hair isn't even able to grow back. So it grows back in a finer, mm. very, very, a lot slower than it does with waxing. As well. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the pain level? Like that. It's the same. I mean, same. hair removal. I don't like to tell people that it's no pain. Okay. Because it's hair same. removal. It's removing okay. your hair. Okay. Um, but if you stay up with it, you have less hair. Okay. And you have to come in, you know, shorter amounts of time. So you're not coming in every four weeks. You're coming in every eight weeks. Uh, you know what I mean? So okay. with time, as long as you stay on top of it, the hair actually comes back less. And right. Less. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Are you guys checking out all these fabulous treatments that she has for you the sugaring you know i've heard so much about that and mm -hmm. she just told you all the great things that come with that and then of course the yoni and then women that have ingrown hairs in the in that area i wasn't aware of that mm -hmm. but i guess that makes sense oh, and yeah. you have hairs it's, it's a chance that you will have some ingrown hairs right um so if you have those sort of issues as well here's a professional that can help you that's why i need you guys to share this and uh come out to her secret garden v steam <laughs> and spa <laughs> We're going to double see that name. I was like, she's got me, though, the second half. So, again, we are in the, the Yoni room right now. Beautiful when you walk in. Then those are the Yoni chairs. The beautiful rug she has. It's very nice. And she has the lighting. Right now we have the lighting up so that you can see the, the uh, video well. But it will be dim when you come in here and mm -hmm. do your Yoni. Yes. Right? Okay. So, darling, yes. let's walk around to the other room that you have. Look at the beautiful suite that she has here. So we're going into the other room. Wow. The treatment room. 
look at this. So this, this is, is a treatment room. Sugaring and okay. facials and facials take place. Okay. Say it, say it again, the treatments here again for them. Sugaring hair removal, um, skin care services, so facials, microdermabrasion, and then um, facials. Okay, you did microdermabrasion. It's microdermabrasion. It's, a, it's an exfoliation treatment for the skin, for the face. Is that the one where the blade is, or is no, that a tool? That's, um, with the, it, that's with the micro. a machine, so microdermabrasion machine. It's actually using crystals, aluminum oxide crystals, to gently exfoliate the top layer of skin oh. to help with hyperpigmentation, to help um, to with the texture and the tone of the skin. Okay, so you got your skin. Your skin. You've got to take care of your skin. Especially the woman over 40. You know, that's my tribe. But for anybody and men, you guys, you've got to take care of yourself and pamper yourself as well. Again, I am here with Darlene, the owner of Her Secret Garden. <laughs> Be Steve <laughs> and Spa. <laughs> I got a cheat sheet here. And I always Tell people I'm 41 years old. I'll be 42 in March. Boom! There it so, is. Um, I've always taken care of my skin. And look at her like skin. I said, I've been an esthetician for 16 years. Anything that I try on my clients, I've already tried on myself first, so that I know it's safe and it's effective, and I know that it's going to work. So. Okay. And so you said the micro dermabrasion. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, so how long does that? How long does the procedure last? Um, and then. Usually, skincare services are about an hour. Okay. So whether it's a facial, microdermabrasion is something that I just add to facials. Oh, okay. So it's just an add-on. So it's an add-on. Facial, okay. and as far as your exfoliation is concerned, we'll just add on the microdermabrasion. Okay. Okay. And it's, it's not invasive, and nothing. There's no downtime or anything like that with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so that's just when you've just accumulated a lot of things on your face because you know you have fluids and everything's floating around. Right. And then right, it's right. a need. You got to get just a little deeper than for right. a facial. Is that what it is? Yeah. So, it's like, just a little okay. deeper. Um, okay. And then also, you know, as we get older, everything slows down. So okay. even our cell turnover slows down. Okay. As when we were twenty, our cells are turning over. We're yeah. exfoliated. We're glowing. We're bright. Mm -hmm. As you get closer to 40, mm -hmm. 50, you kind of have that dull look of your skin. Yeah. And that's because yeah. your your skin cells are slowing down and okay. we're not doing their proper exfoliation okay. um, enough during the week. Okay. So that's where microdermabrasion comes okay. in. That's where professional skincare uh, okay. treatments come in. That is great to know. You guys, are you guys getting all of this that you can get here at her fabulous spa? So really do me a favor and share this out so that people can be aware of it. If you guys are seeing this, have any questions, let us know. Maybe Darlene's a professional right here. She can answer real quickly. Um, so we come in here, and then you got the lights because I don't know if it, some people have never been in a, a room like this. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of cool how soothing it is because the lights will go down, I'm sure. Oh, yes. you know, have them on the table, and then Jenny, you bring the lights down so that person can see a little better yes. as to what they're doing, right? Is there music playing? Are you talking to them? or yeah, does How does the treatment? Yeah. Um, okay. As well. So, of course, I'm not just going to jump on your skin, I'll definitely give you a consult and tell you what I see and what I suggest. Um, and right behind you, if you look, I also have a custom herbal mask bar as well. So I like to use herbs in my practice in not just the vaginal steaming side, but also in the skincare side. Okay. And herbs are really great for us in our skin. And so um, I have a few herbs here and I'm adding all the time as I get to know more and more herbs. Mm -hmm. So you'll get a mask, we'll finish off your facial service with a, a treatment mask, a peel off mask, and I include a uh, Fresh herbs in the mask. Okay, and what we were talking about earlier in the hallway when you're talking about um, we were talking about dryness because mm -hmm. sometimes you guys this is a grown conversation, so you know <laughs> what I'm saying uh, women experience dryness, uh, vaginal dryness for the woman, you know, but any woman could, any but woman and so and medication yeah. as well. So you know, if you're taking medication, some medications will um, cause you to have vaginal dryness as well. So there is a holistic approach, and you approach that in what manner here at the um, so V Steam Spa? So information that I have, I'm always willing to give out to my clients, um, mm -hmm. and so I always make suggestions on mm -hmm. herbal supplements that you mm -hmm. can take, mm -hmm. and then all natural lubrications, all coconut natural. oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oils, different mm -hmm. things like that. Now, of course, when you're using oils, you can't use condoms because mm -hmm. that breaks down the latex okay. and the condoms. Good to know. But you can also take herbal supplements. So, like slippery elm bark is a great herbal supplement um, to help with vaginal dryness. And mm. so is marshmallow root. So interesting. And, and so they work on the mucous membranes, and the vagina is a huge mucous membrane. And so what it does is it creates lubrication and mucus in that area. Wow. Which helps with the vaginal dryness. You guys, you know, she's taking us to school. You hear me? <laughs> I'm like, because I've never thought of a mucus. You know, the vagina being a mucus area, but I i mean, it makes it sense, is. doesn't yeah. it? I mean, absolutely. Uh -huh. So that's why you have to seek out professionals, you guys. It's so important to get with people that have so much knowledge and the holistic. That is so important to me because people want to always pump us up with prescription medications. Mm -hmm. 
and also over-the-counter items. This is why you come to a spa like this, you lay your butt down on the table, and you get <laughs> some treatments and look the, with the herbs and the naturals. You've got to take time to do this for yourself. Darlene's here. You guys, if you guys need a speaker, I think she would also be a great person, a point of yes, because you need. we need to be educated. We need, honestly, we need to be educated on these things because we don't know our body. We don't know our bodies. We're I, afraid, especially I, as women, yes. we're even afraid to touch ourselves or to get to know ourselves. And we should know ourselves inside and out. Right. And, so that when yes. a problem does arise or we have an issue or something's not normal, we know right away what, what's going on. So important. And I'm, you know, I'm 56 years old and just a conversation that we've had this morning with one another. She's introduced me to so many interesting things that I never knew. And so, you guys, we've got to get the knowledge. Got to get the knowledge. Anything you want to tell the ladies of that maybe they may not even be aware of that they need to um, treat or how to pamper themselves or anything um, like that you want to share with the, with the women? Just self-care. Self-care is so important, I think, as mothers, as wives, as women in general. You know, naturally, we take care of everyone else except for ourselves. Mm. And so just mm. taking back our healing. Mm. You know, one of the things and one of the um, arguments with vaginal steaming is that the vagina is self-cleansing. And that is true. The vagina is self-cleansing. Mm -hmm. Vaginal steaming is not cleansing your vagina, okay. but it is healing your vagina. Okay. It's not self-healing. so glad you said that. Um, and so with the herbs, even even the, the steam itself actually creates circulation inside of our vaginas, creating um, blood flow and just getting things kind of mm -hmm. waking things back up in there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, we have old blood in there where mm -hmm. we're taught to use tampons and to kind of stick the blood in there where it's really supposed Good to free point. flow. And so there are so many things that we do now that actually do more hurt than uh, mm -hmm. help. For us mm -hmm. and so I just say you know get to know yourself ask questions mm -hmm. um, go out there find the knowledge everything's actually on Google you can Google pretty much anything <laughs> you can see anything you can find answer to any question on Google there's plenty mm. plenty of books um, that support you know vaginal steaming that support herbal mm -hmm. therapy and so I just say just get to know who you are um, as yeah. a woman and take care of yourself first because there is no use of you pouring from an empty cup you want to mm. pour from your overflow Preach. not even from what's in the cup you want to pour from the overflow of the mm. cup and so that's where self care comes in and so that's where I come in mm. so come see me see what I'm talking about <laughs> that needs to be on a stage somewhere there she goes <laughs> She got that in. So let me show you one more time about the look of the spa so you guys can come down here. I'm going to put the address down below, but I've also tagged it up above in the live here. This is the room where she does a lot of treatments. I'm going to take you around to the other room. And this is her beautiful spa area. And then around here to the yoni room again. Just one more again look where you can sit down and get that yoni cleansed. And like she said, a lot of people have the argument or have the idea that, you know, the, the vagina is, cleans itself and it doesn't need any help. But that's not true. This has been done for centuries and centuries and people are doing it all over the world. So get some knowledge before we start spreading rumors and start saying things that we're not really accurate or sure of because I'd heard that as well that I know the vagina is a self-cleaning but she says this is it's more than that the yoni steam is not about that mm -hmm. so let's get some real knowledge and Darlene has been wonderful giving that to us let's share the knowledge share this video and you know what we can have a yoni party <laughs> I, I, I want to get my yoni taken care of you know what I'm saying <laughs> yes. I, I, want, I don't be, want to be healthy both outside and in so Ladies and gentlemen, you guys, you guys, you're not in the, you don't, guys? Guys can steam can actually for prostate health and.